Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. And once again, a pro Abraham angel Israel, the fearless land is alive. Are you super excited, yo? Do not scroll, I got a prophetic word for you. Once again, on this moment of time, I just want to say good morning, good evening uh, to everybody. We are live uh, broadcasting from uh, Zambia, Lusaka, to be precise. I'm super excited to be in this wonderful country. And once again, uh, we have uh, my sons and my daughters, we are on the studio uh, right now. We are just doing a, a live broadcast. Uh, we just want to bless somebody and uh, also um remaining with uh, two days in the country i'll be flying back to uh united states of america and once again uh, i i just want to appreciate for everybody those who came to uh receive me uh thank you very much guys for a such a royal work coming in uh, in this wonderful country in my beautiful and uh, there is no any best place apart from home i always says uh, zambia is my homeland and america is uh my home so thank you very much everybody uh, on this moment of time i just want to encourage you everyone those who are watching us on inkani we are live on inkani page we are live on proper abram angel israel we are live on uh, on on our youtube channel we are also live for those of you who doesn't know that uh, we are also on youtube you can uh, you can follow me you on uh, on youtube uh, proper abram angel israel you can follow me everybody and uh, also we are live on uh, Millennium uh, uh, social media platform. We are also live on uh, uh, Smart Ego and we are live on other social media platforms. So thank you very much everybody on this moment of time. I just want to talk to my fellow Zambian. This program, I just want to speak to uh, my audience. Uh, of course, I have a lot of followers uh, uh, from uh, 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 USA and from Europe and uh, from UK and uh, also for my partners those who have been supporting my ministry uh, God bless you thank you very much guys for your prayer and for your financial support and once again uh, I'm just uh, remain with two days in the country and uh, we are done with our program the program that I came for two days uh, of uh, atmosphere of Jesus although it was a short notice because I came specifically for a funeral and once again we have come to the end of our program so uh, your do not glow is going to be big, it's going to be phenomenal, it's going to be spectacular, and God want to speak to uh, uh, the beautiful nation of Zambia. So once again, everybody, are you super excited? Let me know where you are connecting from. Uh, if you are connecting from uh, uh, Copper Belt, such as Singola or Chilabombe, or from uh, Livingstone, or you are watching from uh, 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 Central Province, or, or you are watching us from Northwestern. So thank you very much, everybody. Get connected uh, in order to be transformed. So once again, we are going to have a very profound discussion. We're going to talk about, uh, 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 we need to talk about uh, uh, the matters of the kingdom the matters of the kingdom we're gonna talk about the matters of the kingdom and i expect everybody who is on the studio to be uh, quiet and listen from what god is about to say and everybody as soon as come those who are on the studio we have my spiritual son uh, pastor sambaulu is uh, on the studio right now i have my spiritual son from zimbabwe is on the studio and uh, right now we have uh, uh, my son moses we have uh, my secret and everybody is just waiting for this program they want to hear from the voice of God. They want to hear what the prophet is going to say uh, concerning uh, the beautiful nation of Zambia. I was waiting. Somebody was asking me, prophet, do you have any prophets for the nation of Zambia? I said, of course, I will never run out of prophecies. So we are live now and we're going to discuss about something which is, I, which is very profound. And the title for today is uh, Exposing the Demon of Zambia. Mm -hmm. What is the title for today? Exposing the Demon of Zambia. So there are some of you are super excited and you want you want to know. Okay, so we are talking about exposing the demon of Zambia. That that is the title for today. Uh, we are we gonna deal with uh, this kind of demon, and I believe uh, uh, um, uh, I, I, I may offend somebody, and uh, but I want you to uh, get me prophetical. Okay, get me prophetical, and I want you to uh, listen from me and uh, just just. Just relax, okay? 
Rewrite. Okay. So we're going to expose the demon of Zambia. So we are talking about exposing the demon of Zambia. So once again, I've been in the country for how many weeks? Three weeks. I've been in the country for three weeks. And I've really enjoyed uh, We had uh, some uh, African dishes uh, such as uh, uh, palm leaves. Uh, what else? Uh, we had uh, Lumanda. We had Kalembla, Fisashi. Oh my, cassava, uh, ribs, oh my God, I'm, I've been missing all these kind of African dishes. So, uh, so you know, it was so lovely, you know, it was so lovely, I've enjoyed my stay in my beautiful country, uh, Zambia. So once again, we need to talk about exposing the demon of what? The demon of Zambia. Once again, I want us to pray whatever you are. Father, in the name of Jesus, we get a praise, we get a glory yes. for what you're about to do. I commit every barrel who's watching me across Africa and across the world and across the global. And those who are watching me within Lusaka and outside of Lusaka, I decree that open their spiritual eyes, open their spiritual antennas in the name of Jesus. That the way that I'm about to share with them, this word is going to be established in their hearts and in their, in their soul and in their body. In the name of Jesus, I pray, grant them with wisdom and understanding to understand the word of God. Because in the beginning there was a word, and the word was with God, and the word is God. Father, we glorify you for everything that you are about to do, and we thank you, God, for every man and every woman who is watching us on these wonder platforms. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. May everybody say amen. 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 Okay, so quickly, uh, we need to talk about... Uh, Exposing the demon of Zambia. Praise God. You need to understand in every country uh, there is a specific demon. Uh, there is a spirit that we call a, 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 a spirit that is in charge of uh, 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 a certain uh, uh, activities. Praise God. So we need to talk about, I just want to expose the demon of Zambia, okay, exposing the demon of Zambia, okay. So, first of all, we need to talk about. Uh, I want to talk about. I've been in the ministry, I've been serving God, I've done ministry in uh, so many countries. I've been to uh, 32 countries globally. Uh, uh, thank God, God has raised me as uh, a global prophet, and I'm still traveling. And uh, apparently, uh, me being in the USA. Uh, I've learned a lot and uh, I'm proud of uh, America, God bless America and I'm proud of Zambia and uh, I'm a blessing to this nation just I'm a blessing to the USA and uh, the world at large. So I just want to say something, you know I've noticed something in uh, our country that I'm not happy about it. Yes. For this period I've said in Zambia, yes. I am not happy about it <laughs> and uh, I personally with my, uh, my dignity and uh, my personality, yeah. I would like to uh, display my, my, my feelings uh, and to uh, the audience and uh, my brothers, my fellow Zambians, those who are watching me. And uh, this one is going to benefit you. So let's talk about, uh, we need to talk about ministry. What I've observed in the uh, ministry itself, like uh, Christian community. There is something that I'm not happy and I want us to discuss about this matter because I see like uh, the devil has taken charge, especially in Zambia, the Christian community itself. Praise God. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, like I said, I'm not here to oppose anybody and I'm not here to fight anybody. Anointing does not fight against anointing. Okay? Mm -hmm. But we need to talk about something profound. I want you to follow me. Uh, we are not here, I'm not here to try to, to stop any man of God from coming in the country. That, that, that's not what I'm trying to say. Or, you know, I, I, it is my blessing, you know, when I see men of God are coming from different types of countries. You know, there's no any, any, any African in Africa who is a foreigner, mm -hmm. according to my, 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 my understanding. Mm -hmm. There's no any African who is in Africa who is a foreigner. So I have audacity to go and preach in South Africa. I have audacity to go and preach everywhere where I want to where, where I want to preach, uh, where God is leading. Okay, but we need to talk about something that I'm so you know I've been praying over it and I've been thinking about it. I've come to understand something that we need to deal with 
concerning the uh, Christian community mm. in Zambia. Amen. You know, just the fact that we are receiving men of God who are coming from outside the country to come and preach the word of God in Zambia, it is a privilege and a great honor. Amen. Amen. Okay? Amen. But there must be a check balance. Mm. How Christians, they treat their men of God in Zambia is unacceptable. Mm. It's unacceptable. Yes. How they treat a foreigner prophet, they are mouths apart with how they treat they are men of God. Mm. Let me tell you. Do you know that they are men of God who are so anointed in Zambia, they are not on social media? Yes. Amen. Having a platform does not make you to become a major prophet. Mm. Oh, this is deep. Elijah never had a church. Mm. I, want, I want to break it down for you. Break it down. There are three dimensions of fatherhood. Hallelujah. There are three dimensions of fatherhood. Mm. Number one, mm. a father of the movement. Mm -hmm. Elijah was a father of the movement. But he never had a church. He never had a TV station. Mm. Not because having a TV channel, there is something wrong. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? Amen. Yes. Elijah never had a platform. Elijah never had a church. Amen. Elijah never had a TV station. Hallelujah. But Elijah and Moses, these were the fathers of movement. Mm -hmm. So we are the fathers of movement in our country. Good. Just like in every country. Mm -hmm. They are fathers of the movement, yet they do not have a social media platform. They don't have a platform. They are not on platform. They do not have a TV station. Yet they are fathers of what? They're fathers of movement. Yeah. Is somebody get what I'm saying? Hallelujah. They are fathers of what? Movement. Mm -hmm. But what I've come to discover, there is a, 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 a misunderstanding when we talk about fatherhood. Yeah. There are so many fathers who are just at the village, like uh, where we are coming from, Lord province. Oh, yes. There are many fathers who are just at the village. And sincerely speaking, sir, mm. if you see how God is using them in miracles, if these people were to come on social media, Zambia will be revived. Amen. Zambia can never be the same. Mm -hmm. But have you noticed those fathers of the movement who does not have a platform, they are not respected and honored by we Zambians, especially Christians. Amen. How can you know that they are not being respected and being honored? There is a demon that must be exposed in Zambia. Yes. Many Zambians will believe that the only person who can change our life mm. is a man of God who comes from outside. Oh, yes. Yes. Inside. Not inside in the mm. country. Somebody's okay what I'm saying. Yes. And if somebody was telling me that man of God, mm. we have a challenge in our country. Mm. Man is not circulating in the country. Yes. And I corrected him and said, Yo, you are lying. There is money in Zambia. God has blessed Zambia with natural resources. Yes. <laughs> and some of you want to put a brim on the government. This is not the issue of the government. Yes. This is something to do with the Christian itself. Yes. Because what kind of a role are you playing in the government? Yes. Oh, yes. Because we, we, are, we are the government. Yes. The Bible says, and the government shall be upon its shoulders. Oh, yes. And it shall be called one of counselor, yes. mighty God. Amen. So we are the government. Our truth is to uh, pray for the government and come up with some uh, uh, divine ideas mm. so that we can able to uh, stabilize our, our economy. Yes. Now, let me tell you, listen, let's say for example, or for instance, a man of God comes from outside the country. Mm. The reason why when a man of God is coming from outside the country, is coming to bless the nation, yes. okay? Oh, and it's coming to bless you. Mm. 
But sincerely speaking, I don't want to lie unto you. Mm. When I'm coming to bless you, I expect you also to bless me too. Amen. Somebody get what I'm saying? Come on now. I expect you to bless me also. Mm. Now, for example, we have a program that we, we talk about one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Yes. You gotta pay for it. Yes. We talk about uh, meeting a prophet. You need to pay. Yes. Why people they are paying for it? Because men of God also we are spending money. Remember, the gospel is for free, but it requires money to preach. Yes. So there is nothing wrong for a man of God who comes from outside the country or a man of God within the country are charging for one-on-one -on -one, or making people to partner with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is nothing wrong about that. Yes. Amen. But there is something wrong when there is no check balance. You discover that our men of God in our country, we are not honoring them. Mm. We are not supporting them. Alleluia. But we are supporting more outsiders. Oh, yes. Now, for example, if Prophet Abraham, Angel, Israel happened to be a, a, a Kenyan, and he comes in the country, okay? Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm going to come maybe with uh, a, a one million Zambian kwacha for, 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 for the event and uh, uh, logistics and uh, advertisement and everything, including the air ticket. Okay, then I'm gonna spend a one million Zambian kwacha. Mm. Now, guess what? Mm. If I'm gonna have about a million partners, okay, yeah. how much money am I, am I gonna collect? If I'm gonna have about 100 K partners, maybe if I can have 100,000 partners, and each partner is gonna partner with 3,000 or 5,000 kwacha, how much money am I gonna collect? No. 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 Now, guess what? If I get that money, am I gonna use it in the country? No. no. Where am I going to take the money? To I'll go with the money in Kenya. Mm. So now, how can you say money is not security? So whom are you supposed to blame? It's not the government. The problem is you as a church. Oh, yes. Because if you can support your local men of God, the money will be security in the country. Mm. Somebody doesn't get what I'm saying. Oh, yes. Somebody came and said, man of God, Zambia is not a rich country. I said, no, no, you are a liar. Zambia is a very rich country. I have been to so many countries, I've gone to many churches across the world. There is no any country where you are not going to find a Zambian. Yes. Do you know that? Yes. There is no any country where you are not going to find a Zambian in the church. So in another way, Zambians, they are everywhere. They are seeking for God who is in, in the country. Somebody is not getting what I'm saying. Hallelujah. They are seeking for God who is in the country. And this is the reason why our men of God in the country, they are suffering. Amen. Have you ever seen a Zambian man of God who owns a private jet? No. Have you ever seen a Zambian man of God who is in a DSTV? Or who has his own TV station where they can watch or people are watching globally? No. No one. You find they have got own local TV station. Why they have got local TV station? Because you, you don't want to promote them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, yes. Yes. Bring it on that. This is a demon of Zambia. Mm. Whether you talk about music industry, we are people like Ep Ephraim, son of Africa. Yes. When he's having a, 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 a what? Like, how do they call this? A concert. A concert. A concert. Mm. You're going to find VIP. They are paying him 200 kwacha. What else? Apart from VIP, there's uh, ordinary. ordinary. They are paying 100 kwacha, 50 kwacha. Yes. Now, can you imagine if uh, another gospel artist is coming from abroad? Oh. My God. They will be paying for VIP one Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Ordinary will be paying 500 kwacha. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me, how can we promote Son of Africa? How can we put a map of Zambia on the global? It's not possible. Yes. If you are paying Ephraim 200 kwacha for, for, for VIP, ordinary you are paying 50 kwacha. So come on, how can that man excel? How can he advance on his music career? It's not possible. Mm -hmm. So when a foreigner comes from outside, he comes to preach here, or he, he comes because worshiping God is not a performance. Singing is preaching, okay? It's, it's all about preaching the word. So when he comes here and you pay for uh, 
ordinary you are paying a, a 500 and you pay for VIP you pay one other so all the money that is going to gather where is he going to take the money back to his country where is he going to take the money back to his country so who told you that there is no money in the country even there are people who are complaining now they are saying economy is bad economy is not bad everything is okay mm, ask me why because if the economy is bad, you as a Christian, you cannot go and pay for one on one five thousand guasha. Yes. And you are not paying your, your, your local man of God. Oh, you yes. are giving to a foreigner. Mm. And he's going to take that money outside of the country. Mm. And you are saying that there is no money in the country. It's not possible. It's not possible. I, I, I mm. told you I'm not against of anybody. Mm. Amen. I, I'm, not, I'm not here to stop any man of God from coming in the country. I have no audacity. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. But what we, are, what we are trying to say, my appeal to the nation and the, the Christian community of Zambia, we need to honor and support our local men of God Amen. as we support we outsiders. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's true. That's true. We have to. Yes. For example, reason, not trying to be bracadosas. I came in Zambia, okay, Amen. with my only man to come and do what? Minister. To come and minister to preach the gospel. Mm. Now, how much money am I going? Uh, how much money am I going to go back with? Nothing. Nothing. How much money I've collected in Zambia? Nothing. Do you know that I'm going back to USA without collecting not even one thousand mm. Yes. Mm? Yes. Amen. So the money that I came with, I have used where in the country. So, in another way, I am contributing to what? To the economy. Of the country. And another man of God comes in now. Then they go with it out. Imagine, now another man of God comes from outside the country, and you, you pay for one on one, one seven, five seven, ten seven, then you collect about 20 million Zambian quarter, and you transfer that money outside of Zambia. Mm -hmm. Then we say Zambia is not developed. And you are saying Zambia is not developing. And you are complaining that the economy is bad. No, your economy is bad. The economy of Zambia is okay. Because if the economy of Zambia is not okay, you can never pay five thousand kwacha for one on one. To a foreign amount of God. Mm -hmm. The economy is okay, but the common sense is not okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Amen. I, I'm telling you, let me tell you, when a man of God is coming in the country, let me let me be sincere with you. If I'm traveling, I'm going to South Africa to preach. I'm going to bless South Africa. But at the same time, I need South Africa to bless me too. Yes. Amen. I also need money from South Africa. Yes. Amen. That's the truth. So there is no any man of God who can say, no, I am just going to preach because of uh, Jesus died for me. No, 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 no. Don't be braggadocious, man. It is very important to be sincere and let everybody know that we are spending money, we are coming to preach the word of God in this country. But at the same time, I want to go back with something. Hallelujah. Now, there's a disadvantage and advantage. What is the disadvantage of receiving uh, outsiders, men of God, come in the country? Number one, the, the advantage, they bless the nation and they bless the people. Disadvantage, they collect the money and they send the money back to their country. They develop their country. They develop their country. Mm. And when we get there, we're saying, hmm. This country is nice. Mm. In Zambia, there is nothing. Mm. I'm telling you. Mm. Look at this is deep. Look at the churches. Okay, show me any prophet in Zambia who have a mega church. That come on, man. Okay, show me any prophet in Zambia who who has a church or a ministry to an extent where, but even in America, they are watching this TV station. Mm. No, no. Okay, show me any man of God is attracting international visitors. So how are we going to promote tourism? Do you know that through the prophetic ministry, we can promote tourism? Hallelujah. We can. We talk about TB Joshua. TB Joshua was in Nigeria. We never knew about Nigeria. But we, we were flying to Nigeria. The whole world were going to Nigeria. So do you know that TB Joshua created what? Jobs, opportunities. Amen. And you have to contribute to the economy of what? Nigeria. Now in Zambia, point one man of God who is promoting dualism. Amen. We don't have point one. We don't have Papa. 
And why you do not have is not because you, they are not there. They are bishops here who are so anointed. They are apostles who are so anointed. They are fathers who are so anointed. The only problem, we as Zander, we don't believe in them. We believe in witchcraft. We don't believe in them. We don't believe in them. Let me tell you, for example, remember I gave a prophet during the presidential election. Yes. Do you know if the prophet that I gave, if it never came to pass, oh my God, I couldn't have stepped in Zambia. Mm -hmm. Believe me you, mm. I could have not stepped where? In Zambia. I could have called a false prophet. Yes. But despite my prophets came to, pa to pass, I am going back to America with an empty hand. Mm. Mm. And people, they decided to keep quiet. Like they don't know that he gave a prophecy. But if it missed it, like this Oporo, it. it was going to be chaos in Zambia. I'm telling you. And now, because I'm a Zambian, so this Christian, our fellow brothers and our fellow sisters, because that's the fact that I'm a Zambian, my prophetic word is meaningless. Mm. It's absolutely valueless to them. But if it was a foreigner who prophesied, and what he spoke came to pass, they will be dancing for me. They will be kneeling down. They will sow seed. And they will give money. They will do everything they can do. Your prophecy was so direct. It was not like I'm seeing a chair falling. No. It was direct. My prophecy was direct. <laughs> we mentioned in details. We said this, 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 this. And the prophecy came to pass. But look at this. I just entered in Zambia with my money. Somebody can say maybe the prophet is upset he never collected an offering. No, I didn't come for offering. I'm a philanthropist. Yes. You know me. I've done a lot of charity work. Amen. I've done a lot of charity work in Zambia. But Amen. there is something that I'm not happy. I want to see our men of God, our local pastors, our local evangelists. We have men of God. We have Bishop Imakando. We have uh, 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 many men of God that I cannot even mention their names. We got to support them. We have to support them. Amen. Because if you cannot support them, you are killing yourself, and we are killing the future of our country. Hallelujah. That's true. Amen. We are killing the future of our country. These men of God who are coming from outside the country. Oh, they are coming here to bless us absolutely. And I believe that there must be a check balance. Hallelujah. Amen. There must be a, a check. How can you sow a seed of five thousand kwacha for one on one to a foreign man of God, and you can never give a five thousand kwacha uh, uh, seed to a local man of God to be prayed for? It, that, does it mean there is no God in the country? God is in the country. God is in Zambia. Yes. Mm. Yes. You saw, He's there. You, you saw a five thousand in the month of August. Then in the month of September, it's coming again. You saw. Look at this. And, and can you imagine? Okay, let me let me let me shock you. Let me shock you. Of course, I came to at, I came specific for a funeral. Okay, mm -hmm. you saw when people they are coming to attend my program. You know what they were doing? Yes. In fact, they were calling to request for money for transport. Mm -hmm. <coughs> calling to request for money for what? <laughs> now let me ask you: If another man of God come from outside. For a, a crusade. Mm. Have you ever heard a Zambian calling that man of God and requesting for him to provide transport money for he or she to come and to go and attend the service? No. <laughs> no. So in his this is a familiar spirit. <laughs> I, I'm telling you. Yes, sir. I'm, just look at this. If I can, can you imagine with the how many people are getting you from HIV? And do you know that if I can make up my mind to say I'm going to settle in Zambia, do you know that I can promote tourism? Yes. Do you know that I can contribute to the economy of Zambia? Yes. Brother. I have got so much to offer. Mm. But the only problem, Zambians, they don't believe in their men of God. They don't believe in their men of God. That is true. They don't. It, it doesn't matter if I can perform miracles, even if I give a prophecy whether it came to pass or it doesn't come to pass. They don't believe in their men of God. Yes, Papa, even God himself, uh, he said to when the children of Israel cried uh, unto him, he had to send Moses, the prophet of their own language. Can you imagine? He said, I will send Moses, a prophet of your own language. Now Zambia, uh, 
God remembered us by sending our own Bema prophet of our own language, but we can't believe in him. You know when they see me, all they see is witchcraft. Yes. When, <laughs> when they see me, all they see is what? Witchcraft. witchcraft. When they see their... F oh my God. <laughs> I I'm telling you, right now, as I'm preaching now, many people, they can feel like, oh, it's jealous. Jealous of what? I have a life in America. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. What am I going to be jealous of? What am I going to be jealous of? Mm -hmm. I, have I have a life in America. Mm -hmm. What am I going to be jealous of? What I'm trying to do here is to collect you. That you should take care of your men of God. You need to honor. Even now, okay, let's talk about uh, secular music. Eh? Mm. If Mark II is having a show now, mm. eh? yes. I love Mark II. Mm. If Mark II is having a show now, you know what is going to happen? Mm. VIP, mm. how much are they going to pay? Two fifty a quarter. Yes. But if the video, mm. if the video comes here, mm. VIP, you know how much they're going to pay? Mm. Five thousand. Five thousand. Two thousand. <laughs> mm. you, you see, so, one, one. so you see, you see what I'm talking about. Amen. I, I'm telling you. you see, so, 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 Papa, how, how I, 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 I hate you. If I don't know if I hate you, when you said you were going to, you can be a good promoter of tourism. You can contribute a, a lot in this nation through tourism. How can you do it if you are to be given the chance to? Us there. Let me tell you, do you know right now, from the time I've studied in Zambia, son, mm. I can invest a million dollars here to empower youths. Mm. Very simple. Mm. Mm. And I can create jobs opportunities. Mm. Yes. So that we, we work and help the community and work with the government of the day. Mm. That can only happen when you honor the grace. Mm. Amen. When you honor the grace, how? How are you going to believe? Look at what I've done. I've been doing a lot of things. Mm. Charity to work. I've done a lot, a okay. lot. Okay. So when you talk about that question, my son, it's very simple. Mm. I can promote dualism. I can promote dualism. Look at how many people are getting ill from HIV. Cancer. Mm. What? Come on, man. Come mm. on, man. Come on. Okay, let's... Okay. Get in a flight. Go outside for prayers for healing mm -hmm. you will receive healing mm -hmm. the same mm -hmm. healing if you come here yes. i pray for it's the same healing you receive Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. so i am not talking about me myself because i'm not in the country mm -hmm. i'm speaking on behalf of men and women of god who are in the country Amen. i'm just an advocate mm -hmm. and this is the thing that is going to help us mm -hmm. i'm telling you I'm dead. I, I, you, you, you have been with me here. A, am I charging for one-on-one? -on -one? No. no. Okay. Can you tell me, Sambaul? I came here in Zambia. I have no charge for one-on-one. -on -one. Did anybody come to see me? No. Anyone who came to see me? No. Have I ever collected one thousand for one-on-one? -on -one? No. I've collected nothing. They were the ones collecting. They are the ones who came to collect from me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you see, God? Are you telling my point? Yes. They came to collect from me spiritually and physically. Yes. And now they have emptied me. <laughs> you see, they have emptied me and I'm flying back again. Mm. Mm. So this subject, we are not talking about no, because oh, oh, uh, the prophet has collected money. No, no, no. Listen, sincerely speaking, when a man of God is going to preach, he's going to preach because of what? Christ himself, but at the same time, he needs something. There is no any man of God's son who can say that, oh, I'm going to preach in India, in India for sake of what? Winning souls. It's a lie. The moment, Papa, you, you book an air ticket to go and preach to, to, to Bangladesh, live in your country in the name of winning souls, our souls finished in your country. <laughs> you, you see, guys. Okay, listen. Okay, let me give you. A, let me good. Let me give you a, a good example. Mm. During the election, mm. that time, okay, Zambians they were going through a lot of challenges. They were complaining because they wanted a change of government. Mm. Okay, mm. 
So by that time also, there was election that was going on in where? In the USA. Mm. Now let me show you what I did. I said, if I start prophesying about American presidential election, it will not make sense. First of all, let me profess about my car. Because Akatila, Kasengule Poke. Akatila Kambushi, Kasengule Poke. So what I did, I said, okay, I'm not going to profess about the USA presidential election. Let me talk about my car, my, my country. Yes. Let me sacrifice. Mm. Let me pray for my country. Mm. This is my all. This is where my umbilical cord is buried. Mm. And this is where I'm coming from. I'm not going to talk about any country. I'm going to talk about my country. Mm. Okay? I fought for it. Okay? Through prayers. Now listen. Here comes another prophet. In your country there are troubles. You forget about your country. Then you say that, oh, the Lord is showing me a vision. <laughs> in this country, there are troubles. Uh -uh. What about the troubles that are in your country? <laughs> you got to fix the troubles that are in your country before you fix the, our troubles. Hallelujah. <laughs> so that on its own, if, it's a manipulation. If, if you are able to see, you, you should be able to see the. But you see, the Bible said, read for me. In the book of uh, uh, Osea. Chapter 4, verse 6. What does the Bible say? Let me break it down for you. Some of you may think like I don't know how to read. Now listen, let me break it down. Or see chapter 4, verse 6. What does the Bible say? The Bible says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Mm. Because thou have rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Now listen. Ignorance is what is killing our Christian community, especially in Zambia. Amen. Amen. Zambians, they believe that let me tell you, in Zambia, even if you can come here, my son, you are coming from outside the country. Even if God has not called you, you called yourself. <laughs> you come here, you organize a service. You make money, my son. I'm telling you. Because they believe, even a witch doctor, a Zambian witch doctor, they don't seem to be buff. But a foreign witch doctor, ah, Imwe, Imwe. I'm telling you. For example, Papa, there is a comment here. You, you see what we are, we are from talking about. Uh, this man called the gift in Dala, Mbani. He's saying, are you really a prophet or are you just a magician? You, you see? Yes. So already, uh, just the fact that I'm a Zambian and I'm speaking the truth. Yeah, I'm now a magician. I'm, I'm now a magician. <laughs> but when other men of God are coming from outside the country to charge them for one-on-one, -on -one, five thousand kwacha, ten thousand kwacha, they are paying. That man of God is not a magician. <laughs> you see? <laughs> you, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. That's why the Bible says a prophet is with honor wherever you go, except his own town. in his own town. Mm. Have you noticed every time when God is about to raise a man of God in Zambia, they bring him down? The problem is not the government. The government does not have a problem. The problem is the Christian community itself. We do not believe in our own. Whether we talk about business perspective, eh? At investor. Ah, is so much on Tony Muzambi, which I swing. I'm a pottery. I had 200 to come of Sungenko con everybody. Barista. Eh? Are you getting the point? But now Muzambi and guys should have pottery and cocoa at Siakuiva. They will not buy. Come on, Papa. They won't go back. They won't do it. Let me tell you, man, I've never seen a, a Zambian restaurant. In, in the UK, not even in the USA, I've never ever seen. And one thing that I can advise you, the most dangerous virus mm. that I've seen in the country of Zambia, jealous. Mm. Hallelujah. Zambians, we are not united. If you are abroad, you go outside the country. Mm. If there is a person that you should run away from, Rogers, mm -hmm. your fellow Zambian. I love Western Africa. They are united. 
they can have misunderstanding when they're in the, the when they are in their country, but when they go abroad, they support each other, they encourage each other. But Zambians, we are not united. This is the reason why our men of God they are going through financial crisis. Yes, man. especially uh, the men of God of, of Nigeria, they support each other. You know, Nigerians naturally they support each other. There was a Nigerian that. I wanted to invite to come to my church. Uh -huh. He said to me, uh, with due respect, uh, men of God, I would rather go to a fake Nigerian pastor mm -hmm. just to support you than to come to your original church because mm -hmm. it's Nigerian. Even if it's fake, because it's Nigerian, I have to support that thing of... You see? <laughs> you see? Yeah. And that's why me also, I love them. Mm -hmm. Because they support, they support each other. But here, yeah, Zambians, we don't support each other. Anyway, I don't want to waste much of time. Mm. Let's take some few questions. What is your opinion? Those who are watching us on Incarnate TV, whatever watching us from, what is your opinion? We want to take your question and I'm going to answer your question. Yes. But the bottom line is, here the problem is not the government. Zambia is doing fine. Mm. Zambia is moving forward. Mm. Under our new Don administration, Zambia will prosper. Amen. Zambia will prosper. Okay, things is moving well. And those who are complaining on the ground, before you complain, ask yourself, are you supporting your local team? Are you promoting your brothers? Are you promoting your sisters? Because if you cannot promote them, whether music-wise or uh, ministry-wise or business-wise, if you are not promoting, if we cannot support each other, we are not going to build Zambia. We are not going to build Zambia. So let's take comments. And you know what? Zambians, they are good in quoting scriptures. They will be quoting scriptures. If you say something which is a reality, they don't want. They don't want. They don't want. I'm telling you, somebody can read on, on our page. Uh, do we have any comments there? Because of course myself, I don't have VIP. <laughs> Did I come for VIP meeting here? I, I, I think I, that, that question you need to ask those who normally have those programs. Mm. Uh, because myself here, you know, everybody came to attend the program. The sitting arrangement was the same. Huh? There was no VIP. There was no uh, standard. Uh, there was no IVP. You know, whatever you call it. But, you know. That's what I can say, you know. So, yeah. Someone is saying, are you also not a foreigner, a foreign prophet when you're in the USA? Yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> you can't say I'm a foreigner when I'm in the USA. <laughs> because I don't live illegally in America. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you know, I'm not a foreigner. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm a resident of the USA, so I'm not living illegally. Yeah, but the bottom line is uh, it's different with uh, our country and USA because USA, they support each other. each other. They support their own, they promote each other as they promote us uh, uh, immigrants, okay? But here in Zambia, it's a different thing. Here in Zambia, we kill each other. Yes. Even witches are better, huh? witches and wizards, they support each other in Zambia compared to Greece. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Uh-huh. How do I support myself and others in charge? Yes. Like for example, okay, for example, bring that man I gave you. Bring, where is the money? Let me, let me, okay. He's asking about how do I support my ministry yes. financially and other people are in charge. Yes. Okay. Let me show you. My son, do you know that me, if you go to heaven now, viewers whatever watching me from, let me make this boldness statement. If you go to heaven and you don't find my name in heaven, <laughs> I assure you, you went to hell. <laughs> so that is what you, that is the you went to hell. 
If you go to heaven, you see Angel Gabriel, you see T.B. Joshua, and you don't see me, I assure you, you went to hell. <laughs> I'm, te I'm telling you. You want me to explain? Yes. Okay. Number one, I don't steal from poor people. Mm. I don't charge for one on one. Mm. I don't sell anointing oil. Mm. I don't sell anointing water. Mm. On top of that, I'm a man of love. Mm. I take my money and I give to the poor. Mm. The devil comes to steal and to distort. But Jesus said, I came so that they can have life. Did I come to steal from anyone? No. Have I stolen from you? No. As a matter of fact, even the money that I came with, even what is remaining now, I am giving back to my spiritual side. Did I not give you money? For you did. You did. Eh? Yes. I have given you money. Where did this money come from? It came from America. America. From where? America. Shafu mine kuisa? America. Oh, America. No man has a what? Members, if they were supporting me financially, do you think So now tell me, do you really think if you go to hell now you can find me in hell? No. It's not possible. Me, I have secured my life. Your opinion does not matter. Even if when I reach at 150 years, I will enter heaven because I've secured my life. I am not a coward. I'm not a coward person. I don't preach anybody. Everything that, if now, if God speaks to me that Albert, this and that will happen, I will tell you. Mm -hmm. You can't collapse. Mm -hmm. That's my personality. Mm -hmm. But do you know that there are men of God nowadays? If you just remove a seed now and say, Papa, can I sow a seed? Even if you are a witch, you will be the one to kneel down mm. and allow you to lay his hands, <laughs> your, your hands on him. The man of God is the one kneeling down. The man of God will, will be kneeling down. Mm. I'm telling you, I know this thing I'm talking about. There's also a question from Katombo uh, Mulemfoy. Uh -huh. uh, and how can, how can we support ourselves through the process of change? Let me tell you. Nothing changes until when your mind changes. The greatest change that you will experience is not the deliverance of laying hands, but the transformation of your mind. That's the greatest change. Like I said, there must be check balance. When we support our outsiders, men of God, our outsiders are gospel artists, our outsiders business personnel, we have to also support our local team. It is absolutely very, very important. By doing that, we are promoting each other. By doing that, man will be circulating in the car, in the country. Amen. Amen. So, that question of somebody was asking, man of God, how do you support your each other? How, how do you support yourself and the, and the people around you? I, of course, all of you have been with me. Are you, st are you struggling? No. Uh -huh. I've tried the best that I can. So, Amen. yeah. So, another question. Son, your question. <laughs> okay, let me answer you. Amen. My son, you, can, you don't, why should, let me tell you, you are not allowed to stop any man of God from preaching. A man of God is a man who is sent by you. Any man of God is allowed to come in Zan. Whether a witch is a wizard, is fake or is genuine, is allowed to come and preach in Zambia. But what we are trying to say is, 
the very way you are supporting him, can you also support your local ones? Exciting question here from Dorothy Muro. Mm -hmm. Listen, how can a person be a prophet? I'm saying this because last week, the way our Zambian pastors were rushing in front to be prayed for by men of God, I saw it last week from a, fair, from a foreigner prophet. It was shame. Maybe we are backward spiritual. Now, let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you also, let me say. Let me speak to young ministers of the gospel in Zambia. If you don't know who you are, you will never be used by God. Sometimes in Bemba we say, Ubufumu, Uchinji Komuine. Have you noticed in Zambia? When a man of God comes from abroad, the first people are going to fill up the stadium are not church members, are men of God. <laughs> Sometimes in the <laughs> Now, can you imagine? But Papa Ramuka attend church service. Now, I never must attend church service. I'm not a pona. Now, Papa Papa. <laughs> then on Sunday, Papa organized a service called Die by Fire. Hmm? <laughs> Who is going to attend that program? I'm asking you. Who is going to You see, our men of God in Zambia, I don't understand. Even what they are looking for, they already have it. Oh, you are looking for power. Power is already in you. Mm. The Bible says in Jeremiah 1 verse 4. What does the Bible say? I knew you before you were born in your mother's womb. I anointed you and I set you apart. Mm. Mm. The anointing does not come from prophet Abraham angel. Impartation is an activation of the anointing that you were born with it. Hallelujah. This is a reason why when Jesus was in his mother's womb, Mary and Elizabeth, she was pregnant with John the Baptist. When they met together, the lesser had to milk from the greater. The lesser, who is John the Baptist, was imparted by King Jesus. And Elizabeth said, I feel the move of my child. That was an impartation of the anointing. So even impartation can never work if you do not have a calling. This is the reason why many pastors are attending impartation after being prayed for. They, 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 they go back to their church without the display of God's power because you can never be imparted what you do not have. Mm, man. So, Papa, uh, sorry to, to go a bit, uh, a bit back again. Because if we analyze this uh, comment mm -hmm. by Joel, how can a person be a prophet? This is a believer who is going maybe to my church. Mm -hmm. I am saying this because last week the way our pastors were rushing in front to be prayed for, I saw it last week from a foreign prophet. It was shame. Maybe we are backward spiritual. So this one, she's trying to say the reason why they are embracing foreign men of God. It's because by their pastors going to get prayed for and falling down, it is making them to lose confidence. They are thinking like me, if this foreign person is praying for me, I'm falling down, and if my pastor also is being prayed for, is falling down, we are the same. That's why there is not that respect upon the men of God within Zambia from their fellow Zambian believers. Absolutely. Have you noticed? There is something I love about Zambian bishops. Zambian bishops, they know their value. They respect each other. You can't these our fathers, you can't see them going anywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah, you are right. But 
this upcoming of court generals, terminators, mm. ego one, ego seven. Mm. This one, mm. <laughs> this one, <laughs> ah, sometimes in the second, this one. This one, they have got even 20 spiritual fathers. Any man of God they will hear from abroad whom God is using is my father, daddy. is my daddy, <laughs> is my wife, is my mentor. Mm. So, what do you expect? If a man of God is everywhere, you can never be anywhere. You, you can't. It's like you are a, you are a spiritual prostitute. Mm. You, you, do, you, are, you don't know where you belong. So if church members, they can see a man of God who is not stable. You are not settled in one place. Mm. You can go this way, you can go this way. What will stop our church members from jumping from one church to another church? So this one is also caused by we as men of God. How we carry ourselves. Mm. How we carry ourselves matters a lot. You have to know your value. You have to know who you are. It is absolutely so on that question, my son, I agree with her. Also, we as upcoming men of God, we have contributed. And there's this one called the uh, Alnebe or Kurag, ah, there's name. So if you don't steal money, he's asking you, where is the one we said? Oh, of course. <laughs> Listen, somebody say, if you do not steal money, mm. where is the one you sent? Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Did I come in your house to ask you to send money? No. Between your one quarter that you gave, have you ever seen me giving one quarter no. to the community? Mm. Have you ever seen me giving under a quarter? Mm. Okay, let's ask. Have you ever seen me? Mm. My giving start from 5,000 and above. Mm. So between you who give 100 quarter and me who give 5,000 and above, who is a fifth? The one who's so that question is is uh, irrelevant. Yeah. Another question. Are we done? Right now you can see they are asking now. Help me, Papa, with my school fees. Yes. How am I going to help you with your school fees? <laughs> <laughs> Yet I came in the country. Did you give me anything? You didn't even come for the program. You didn't even come for the program. The presence, the presence. Even your present, you went to attend that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? And that's why you left your money. Mm -hmm. Then you are asking me to pay for your school fees. To <laughs> I will not pay. Go and ask him. Let him pay for your school fees. He's coming next month again. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let him. I'm telling you. Rogers. Does it make sense? No. Ah ah. Uram kuste uram uram kusta mshopu ya wambi. Taure sa mshopu mian. Ero insalanga ya kumero wasa sa ah ba papa deno mbago tute. Ore deno mbago salad. Ore deno mbago inishi ubunga. Tete na mvuli pa mera tete kupe. Ati kongo ni. It's not possible. I can't give you. Eh? Because the Bible said you shall reap what you sow. So you see, this one was requesting for money for what? Yes, of course. You know me, I'm a philanthropist. I have money here. Eh? Mm. But I have decided to work on my shame. You understand? Mm. Because I have a... Ah, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'm telling you. So, so I, I think the same way they pray for you. Can you imagine? These people sometimes I ask myself, Roger. They go to a man of God, and the man of God looks at this person. This person does not need prayer. He just needs money to pay for a house. And a man of God says, I'm going to pray for you. God will give you miracle money for your house rent. And the landlord have given her two days. 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 You will receive a miracle money to pay your house renters. Ah! And this man of God has money in his pocket. Instead of him removing the money, counting, pa, 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 or go and pay for your house rent. God has answered you.
they will not do it. And to make matter worse, these are the very people that they give money. Remember, there was a young man from Zambia who wanted to commit suicide. Here, you heard about him. Due to what? Financial crisis. Myself, who was in the USA, I counted the money like this. You were there. Counted the money, counted the money, counted the money, and I gave my son, go and give him. Yes, there is this one called Elijah B. Samba. Then the reason why we go in different men of God is that we don't have direction in being poor financially. No, it's not because you do not have directions, it's because you are ignorant. You don't believe in your own men of God. And at the same time, also, we men of God, we have contributed of how we cut ourselves. Like what we are from talking about. Anyone who comes, Papa. Anyone who comes, my what? Anyone. So, you. Men. So, viewers, uh, thank you very much. I just want to say it was so a wonderful moment. And I'm proud of you. And I'm so, uh, I'm, uh, I'm so amazing. For, I'm, I'm amazed for the love that you have showed me. For those who have been supporting me, praying for me. And I'm super excited also to be in the nation of Zambia. On this moment of time, uh, allow me to pray for you so that, uh, uh, allow me to pray for you and also keep on praying for me as I'll be having my present flight back to United States. I love you, Zambia, and I'm proud of Zambia. And God bless you. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everybody, for those who are watching me, and I pray for the nation of Zambia. I decree, may you raise mighty men of God and the women of God that will move in the supernatural, that will, uh, will display your power. And I decree in the name of Jesus that Zambia shall be revived in the name of Jesus. I pray for every leader. I pray for all our politicians, our government. I decree for a divine protection in the name of Jesus. We speak the blessing of God upon them and upon this nation and everybody who is watching me. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Now listen. On this moment of time, I have something for you, okay? I have something for you. Tomorrow, I'll be attending people online, on WhatsApp. I'll be praying for people. I think starting tonight, I'm going to have time, I'll be praying for people on WhatsApp. So if you have our chat line, I'll be praying for you, I'll be praying for you, I'll be praying for you, and tomorrow I'll be praying for you before I travel back. So thank you very much. You may contact us on our official uh, uh, contact number and I'll be praying for you. God bless you and God bless Zambia. Shalom. Be blessed. Alright, that's all for you today lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.